What's up guys, welcome. In today's video, we're gonna be setting up a React Native app. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you're gonna to need to set up the React Native app is the uh, CLI. To do this, you can install using NPM and you wanna make it install it globally, the React Native CLI. I'm not gonna run it because I already have it, but if you just run that command in terminal, it'll go ahead and download it for you. And then after that, you can run React Native init and then your project name, I'm gonna call mine Hello World. I already ran this, so I'm not gonna run this, but what this does is it sets up your project and installs all the dependencies. So run that, it can take a few minutes, and then just CD into your project. Now you see you have all these files right here, and you'll see an index.ios and an android.ios. These are your app, this is your app. So if you go into index.ios, you can see this is the code for the basic beginner app. Um, that they give you. It has some basic styling, it registers the component down here, and if we just open this up, um, the Android one as well, you can see it's the exact same. Um, they changed the text a little bit. Um, so whenever I run this on Android, it'll run index.android.js. Whenever I run on iOS, it'll run this file. But how do we run our app? If you do react native run Android, um, this assumes you have, uh, I already have uh, Android emulator running right now, so when I run this, it'll go ahead and compile the application and install it on there. Um, so if you run that, um, it'll boot up over here. It'll open up a dependency manager, or what they call packager, where it downloads everything for you and packages it onto here. I'm using Jenny Motion um, to get this Android emulator, but you can also use... Uh, Android Studio's virtual machine that it comes with. So I have Jmotion up running over here, and when I did React Native run Android, um, it goes ahead and builds it over here. Now let's say I wanted to run this on uh, iOS, you would do run-iOS, and that would start up the emulator for you. For Android, you have to start up the emulator yourself. Okay, cool, so I have this beginner app right here. Now what? Well, the cool thing about React Native is you don't have to keep recompiling unless you break everything. So if I just come into index.android.js, I can come try editing some code. So instead of welcome to React Native, I'll say welcome to React Native, I am editing. And I just save this file. I can come back over here. You notice it still says welcome to React Native. But if I hit R twice, uh, it refreshes and it says it takes my change. So anytime you edit your app um, in the editor um, you're using, you can come back to the app and double tap R and it'll refresh. Another cool thing you can do is do Command M. And what this will do is bring up basically a developer menu and then you have lots of different options to uh, run and test your app. So refresh you want to do anytime you make changes. Now. If you're doing React Native, a lot of the time you're going to want to have um, Android and iOS go to the same application. Um, I don't want to build two applications, and that's why I'm using React Native. Um, and right now, as you can see, if I run index iOS and index Android, basically have the same thing in it. So I'll show you how you can create one source folder that stores everything. So I'm going to make a directory called source. Um, and I'm just gonna go into android.js and I'm just gonna rip out everything. So all this stuff you do not need. So all I have left is this. And then we're gonna import our, and we can bring this to one line. And then we're gonna import our app from source. And then what we're going to do is we can actually do the same thing in iOS, index.ios. We can get rid of all that code and just have this. Now what I can do is I can go into my source folder and I'm going to create index.js and I'm just going to create react from react, a little dummy project. So we'll say view We'll just have a text for now, actually, from React Native. And then export default. So 
you can just in React you can just um, return a function and have the return value be displayed instead if you don't want to make a class. So for example here I just want to say hello world and now this will both go to iOS and Android. So this index file here, I can go ahead and basically expand my whole project in the source directory and both the uh, Android and the iOS project will grab it and it will render when I run those uh, apps. So right here I just basically have a super simple um, version of an app and if I hit double R I can refresh and I can see hello world here in my Android app. Now if I was to run the iOS version it would go ahead and it would say hello world there too. I'm not going to run it because it takes a little while to run, but that's how you set up a basic iOS uh, and Android app. Um, there's one extra thing I really like to do um, uh, that is kind of confusing to set up, so I want to show you how to do logging real quick. So a lot of time what I like to do is I like to put um, my emulator over here and then just open up a terminal over here. And what you can do is you can type react native run not run, log Android or log iOS depending on what you want to log. And this is, notice I'm in my hello world directory here. So you want to run this in the same directory as your project. I can log Android and now if I do console log in my project I can see it right here. So right now we're not logging anything but we can change that. So instead of returning it like this, what I can do is we can say return and now here I can say console.log hello I am logging now I can come back over here I can tap double R and notice it says right here hello I am logging and so you can now use this to uh, console log and get output from your app when you're running it so this is a basic setup for a React Native app, you just have it running. Um, I'm going to be making some more videos, so stay tuned on how to add more things to React Native app. So thank you guys for watching.